Okay, so a while ago I had this idea that I, uh, I wanted to go through the process of how I record video games on my Mac. And uh, I imagine there's a lot of people out there that have had trouble with this or don't exactly know how to do it or what hardware to get and what software to get. So that's what I'm going to go over right now. Um, and at the end I'm going to throw in the clip that we, uh, the finished product, so you guys can see that this works. Um, Okay, step one, you need to know what hardware you're going to have. So I, uh, I'm using the HD PVR by Hopog. Um, so far I've had no problems with it. I've heard people having problems with it overheating, but I've run it for hours and hours and hours on end. I haven't had any problems with it. Uh, I've had it for over a year so far. Uh, probably coming up on two years. So there's that. And then, um, obviously your computer. I have a late 2009 iMac has a crappy dual core processor in it. Uh, I upgraded it to 12 gigs of RAM just for editing. Um, if you guys want to see how to do that, I can put up a video on that also. And then my TV over here, I have a, uh, it's just an, it's an LED LG TV and I'm happy with it. I believe it's like 27 inches or something like that. Okay, so what you want is, uh, to turn your Xbox on and you want to, uh, uh, hold on. Try and go around, uh, yeah, I'll show you what the back of the PVR looks like. Um, you want to just make sure that you have all of your component cables in. Unfortunately, there's no HDMI on the one that I have. And then make sure that you're on your component input on the TV. Uh, that's hardware-wise. Now, before you're going to get, oh, whoa. I have a split, I have like a dual, uh, display thing on my TV too. Um, that's another thing that I could put a video up of. But anyways, you want to be on component on your TV and you want to be make sure you have all your component cables and put it on your hop hog. And I will uh, show all those and exactly what that looks like. Software wise on the computer you want ITV. Um, that's what I use. I got it through Elgato.com. It's like 80 bucks if you want to buy it through them. I actually purchased it through them. But uh, that was over two, over a year ago. Um, okay, so ITV. Um, as you see here, uh, I've got my Xbox shown up on my computer. And this is all live. So if I flip through this, there's a slight bit of latency. But that is uh, what I'll, I'd be recording. Uh, up here, um, if you click this little button, it's going to show you all of your previous recorded things. I recorded the... Uh, Video Game Awards for 2012, so that's what all these are. Um, I just haven't done anything with them. So what we're going to do is, I'll load up Black Ops here, and if you can't get anything to show up, just go to Open Live TV Window once you have all your uh, components in and everything, and uh, your screen will pop up here. There are a lot of settings, so I'll move this and I'll show you what I have, um, my preferences. Uh, general, pretty sure this is just what it looks like. You can tick off these, whatever you want. Um, this is where you can dis uh, send your recorded content to. I suggest uh, going through, maybe pause the video, use the exact uh, setup that I have here. So I'll have to go through all these devices um this is what you want make sure that you have this on custom and put in all of this stuff right here parents we're not going to deal with that okay so um here this is known as your remote and you can shuffle through your different inputs if you have like i don't know other tvs that you're using i suppose but we're just going to focus on the basic um so if I hit start here, actually what I'll do is I'll start, this is your record button right here. So I'm gonna hit record and recording started. I'm gonna hit start and this is actually being recorded right now. So this is what our final clip's going to look like. Okay, so now I'm gonna stop recording. Um, like I said before, if you go up here to this little button at the top right of your, uh, your remote, It'll take you to your recorded videos, uh, live recording, January 13th, 2013, as date it is right now. 
Um, so this is what I just recorded 14 seconds long. If I double click on this, it's going to play back what I recorded. Good, just making sure that's recording. Um, okay, so this is our clip. Um, if you right click on it, go down to export, because essentially what ITV does, it records it to, um, it records it in its own format. It's not an actual video format that it's recording for you. So you have to export it once you have all these recorded. Um, I'm going to save it as a uh, test. Uh, I don't know if I have anything else named test on my computer, so I'll put one, two, three after it. Uh, I'm going to save it to my desktop. I'm going to save it in H.264. It'll be easier. Uh, MP4 data or yeah, data rate to 10,000. Um, image size. Uh, we're gonna. Go, I'm just gonna do 2012 or 1280, 1280 by 720. That's just standard HD. If you really want to go big or go home, go with 1920 by 1080. It, I don't think it really matters though, because nine out of ten people are just gonna watch it in standard 360 format on YouTube anyways. Frame rate 59.94, 60 FPS. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to go with just what I have here for the audio. Um, make sure it's stereo channel, I guess. You don't want mono. Okay, so we will save that. And then what you see here is it ex exporting our clip. So because I have a crappy processor in my computer, uh, that might take a while. But uh, I'll just jump cut it, I guess. Actually, instead of just instead of doing that, we're gonna jump into Final Cut Express. Um, this is what I highly suggest you using for editing. Don't use iMovie; that's not professional. You're not going to get a really good output after that. Learn how to use Final Cut Express or Pro. Um, so here, what I've done, I have a template for 1280 by 720, uh, or just a standard HD screen. If you want me to file transfer this to you, I can. Uh, just let me know in the comments, because I had a hell of a hard time trying to figure out how to get an HD screen. It would, I just could not do it. And then I hit some sort of settings, and it got here for me, so I wouldn't have like black bars right here. That's probably what you're going to have. So uh, mess around with stuff. If you, if you can figure out the correct way to do it, let me know. But I just saved this as a template on my computer, so every time I want to make an HD film, I'll just bring this back up. So let me know if you want this. I'll just, fan I'll just file transfer the uh, Final Cut project to you. Okay, so if you're not very familiar with it, Final Cut, I will uh, I'll let you, or I'll do like a little tutorial here. Up here you have all your files. If you go into Finder, um, for example, it's going to, be our exported clip is almost done, and it's going to be on my desktop. So I'll just wait and I'll show you. Um, back in Final Cut over here. Down here is your timeline, and when you drop clips down, uh, this is what they look like, and this is, up here you can see how long they are. Our clip is only 14 seconds long, so it should only come to about here. Uh, this screen is if you want to play something back, and with it out, without it being in your final... Okay, our clip finished, and I have a setting set, so... It'll just pop up in quick time for me. So this is just that. This is just something that if you want to see what the clip was and you didn't know exactly what it, uh, what exactly it was, you can just play it here. Um, okay. So this is my little test I'm going to show you guys. Uh, that is one of these GoPro clips right here, and uh, I just threw some music in so you can see what it's going to finally look like up here. Um, I'm going to push, or I'm actually just going to get straight, get rid of this. Um, I'm going to leave the audio in for our project. Here it is. Okay. Um, so take this and out of your finder window and just drop it over here into your, uh, into your files. Now drag it down onto your timeline. I'm going to kill this sound because I don't care about it. And then if you hit option R on your keyboard, that will render it out for you. If you don't want to, uh, you, this, that's just the shortcut. I suggest learning shortcuts in Final Cut because 
it's gonna help you a lot it's gonna save a lot of time um if you go up to i think it's sequence uh render all that'll also render it out for you okay so to give you an idea over there uh on on the uh in final cut so spacebar but if you're curious is the shortcut that i'm using just to stop and start and this is what we recorded up here render out and you're going to notice that it's very choppy up here and you can't export a video from final cut unless you render all of it out so that's that sort of explains it better for you okay so render that out and then um once this is finished we're going to export it and you have to export it from Final Cut once you're done with... Okay, I'm just going to cut this out to save us some time. Okay, so uh, make sure you don't have a clip selected like this when you're going to do it. Just go... Um, just make sure... Uh, you just like click anywhere on your timeline. So, like this. And then File, and then Export using QuickTime Conversion. Uh, save it to wherever you want options is important size you don't want it compressor native is what it's going to show up as this is not high definition so go with 1280 by 720 hd because that's what we recorded it as and then settings i go with best and then just save it as current fps because that's 60 and then uh that should be okay sound settings i usually do best because i want the best but normal is fine too there's not a huge difference um i think you don't want any filters on it i think this is about it make sure you have this ticked off too um and just save it and save and that's going to start exporting for you and then that will be your final video project that you can upload um that's basically it i know my tutorial might have sucked but uh if you have any questions at all let me know i'm going to throw in the final video what it looked like at the end here um, if you're struggling with this, just leave a comment and I, I'm going to respond. Uh, yeah, so hopefully this helped you out. Bye.